Before I came to college, I was a wing player. I was more of a three. I played some two sometimes, and in high school, that's pretty much what I was. Shot threes, handled the ball. I never really posted up. I didn't have a post game coming into college. Um, so that was kind of what I did before I got here. It's things that, you know, situations, teams, different players, different personnel to where I had to be a post guy because we didn't have a lot of bigs and learn how to play the post and learn to get a post game and things of that nature. But just becoming be, before I came to college, I was a wing player. So to play now where I could do both, I could play on the wing or I could play the post, I could handle the ball, shoot threes, it's all natural to me. Day, uh, day one, I mean, I work on my game all the time, so it's not something that where it's like if the coach doesn't let me do it, then or if I'm not used to if I'm not used to doing it in a the game, then it, I won't be used to it. I work on my game all the time. Even if I shoot 10 threes a year, I probably shoot 500 threes a day just working out. Even if I only shoot one per game, I'm still going to shoot probably 500 a day. Because I know that later down the line, eventually I will need to be able to shoot a three or play off the dribble or, you know, play in the mid post or, you know, be able to pull up for a three or whatever the case may be. I work on my game to the point where whenever my time comes, I'm comfortable in that position. What things stood out to you that you maybe learned about this team, maybe how far along you guys are um, from the scrimmage that you guys played? What kind of stood out for you about this team? From the... The secret. Oh, the secret scrimmage. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just learned that um, I was really proud of my guys. I, it, was, it was a win for me, in my opinion, and um, just how hard we competed and, and how disciplined we were on defense. You know, it, it those were some questions last year where we would c can come to compete some nights and other nights we wouldn't. Defense was always a big issue, and to play defense as good as we played and to compete as hard as we competed was something that I was really – proud of and I didn't know we could do it as long for our stretches as we did it in the scrimmage and it just really it's really promising for the future. Coach said barring any injury or unforeseen circumstances you'll be starting at the five to start the year so does that be, what kind of advantage do you think that could give you as like a big man who can also stretch the floor going up against the opposing center? <laughs> I doubt they'll put their center on me so yeah I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm expecting a, a, a three man to be on me. I mean, three, four, I, 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 and a guy that's my height, athletic, that can move. So I doubt they'll put their center on me. And um, like I said, I'll just go out there and play my game. I'm at the five on the team, but like he lets me play anywhere I want to play. If I'm, if I feel like I need to play on the perimeter, he'll let me play on the perimeter because I can do that. If I need to play in the post, he'll let me play in the post because I can do that. If he, need, if I feel like I just need to set screens and get my teammates open and create off the dribble, then he'll let me do that. If I want to play in transition, he'll let me do that. So he's going to let me play my game, and I'm going to go out there and play my game regardless of who's guarding me. But I really doubt teams will put their center on me. Do you think that's what gives this offense a potential advantage is that there's really no one that can put the center on because all five guys can kind of stretch the floor? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Um, with me being at the five and then you got Sheldon and, and guys like Ryan, who we're, we're none of us are traditional five men, you know, we – shoot the ball and can the ball and things of that nature, it's, it's going to be really hard for teams to really kind of match up against us. You touched on consistency a little bit. Is that something you're looking forward for? Just having so many seniors, you think guys should be able to be more consistent? For sure. With the experience and with the seniors, and we got six guys who played in the ACC over the last two to three years, consistency will be key for this team. Talked about going back to the secret scrimmage. You were impressed about how well you guys played defense. What can you do going forward as a team to make sure that you keep performing that well defensively? Um, it's, it rests upon the shoulders of the seniors. And, you know, we'll we'll log a lot of minutes, and um, we know what it takes. We've been in big games, lost big games, won big games, and you know we, we definitely know what, what it takes. And it will be more on our shoulders to go out there and set the tone every game and make sure every guy comes in and isn't slacking off or anything like that. So consistency lies within the seniors.